Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing General Nathaniel Greene taking command in the South. On October 14, 1780, General Nathaniel Greene was appointed commander of the Southern Continental Army by General George Washington and tasked with salvaging the desperate situation in the Southern Theater. Greene's command comprised only 1,000 men present for duty and equipped to fight with less than one week's worth of provisions. Confronting Greene and skeleton force was a British army of 3,200 trained, experienced men led by Lord Charles Cornwallis, arguably the best British general in North America. Recognizing that a stand-up fight was not practical, Greene decided to split his command into smaller groups and initiated a guerrilla war of hit-and-run tactics constantly harassing the British and inflicting casualties while he built a new army. In December, Greene sent General Daniel Morgan and 600 men to the western part of South Carolina to threaten British posts in that area. Cornwallis countered this move by sending his superb subordinate, Bannister Tarleton, and his British Legion to challenge Morgan. Tarleton, the son of the Mayor of London, had dropped out of Oxford when he received his inheritance. After gambling and drinking away his money, he volunteered for service in America, declaring, these miserable Americans must be taught their places. Tarleton proved to be a brilliant cavalry commander and had known nothing but success on the battlefields of America. Learning Tarleton was coming to pay him a visit, Morgan, by instinct of fighter, decided to make a stand in a gently sloping field called Hannah's Cowpens. General Morgan told his men, on this ground, I will defeat the British or lay my bones. Next week, we'll discuss the early life of Daniel Morgan. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.